Hey, teacher LaShondra here, and yes, I'm driving. I'm on my way to pick up my kids from school. And because of that, I was like, you know what? I need to just hop on while what I have to say is just fresh, just on my mind. You guys, I hope you guys know that anytime I create a video, I don't write out a script. I don't practice what I'm going to say. I just have a topic. And based off of whatever I'm thinking, I go with it. I just go with it, okay? And so I'm like, okay, I'm on my way to pick my kids up from school. Then I start thinking about all of you teachers out there that teach in the brick and mortar setting, okay? I taught in the brick and mortar setting. Did I love it? Honestly, yes. Yes, I did. The only thing I didn't love is the politics behind it. You know, uh, like the, the stuff that they don't teach you in college. The stuff that you don't see when you are a student, you know? When you're a student, you don't see that the teacher is taking all that mess home and grading all those papers for hours on hours on end or lesson planning at home because the lesson plan period that your teacher had at school was taken up with other students and other parents or meetings IEP plan meetings and um, parent coming up there and wanting a meeting in the middle of the school day so that was your planning time or you had to call a parent had to have some type of conference or meeting with the parent or the office just decided that every teacher during your plan time you're going to meet you're going to have a meeting because they couldn't think of any other time to fit it in and you know you don't want to stay after school because you want to go home but then you end up staying after school anyway because oh you know just somebody just couldn't get a can to act right now I say all that, but I miss it. I really do. I miss the thrill of decorating my room, the students coming in and out. And you guys, I know people hate it when admin comes to their room. I don't like it per se, but I thrived off of it because I always got like a perfect score. <laughs> I remember I got a point like point two points away from having a perfect score. And I was like, what is this? And it was because I didn't have some data, you guys, some data up on the wall that they had required at the time. And I was just like, really? My class is running better than a well-oiled machine. Because the oiled machine, you can't just throw anything at it and expect it to work the way it's been functioned or programmed to work, right? It has to, you, you only can give it what it's been programmed to do. My classroom was ran better than a well-oiled machine, okay? You, it didn't matter what you threw at me. I got this. And people ask me, you know, I really transferred that, those skills, I transferred that world into teaching online, okay? So people ask me, do you prep? Do you? No, I don't. I can't remember the last time I've act Okay, I can't remember. The last time I prepped was when I was doing the Go Go Kid interview. Just what, a week or so ago, two weeks ago, I had to prep because I was like, you know, if you want the job, you got to prepare for it. You can't just come in like you just don't care mode. So yeah, I prepped for that and I was like, okay, but did I prep long? No. I spent, uh, let's see, uh, maybe 45 minutes to an hour preparing for my interview. And that's just looking through the slides and then kind of, you know, talking to myself. Like, okay, how am I going to do this? Okay, yeah. And trying to familiarize myself with uh, the platform because it's a different platform. But yeah, I don't prep 
for teaching, which I'm not bragging about it because <laughs> if I did, then I don't know. I don't even have it if I did, but I just don't. And it works for me. It really does. I, I have no issues in that department. So it just, it works for me. It doesn't work for everybody. It works for me. Probably because I'm a procrastinator. And so I thrive off of last minute, do it, do it, do it, do it. I thrive off of that. But it's weird because at the same time, I'm a planner. I really am. I'm a planner. And so I, I mean, I have goals and dreams and whatever I say I'm going to do, I promise you, I do it every single time. If I've set a goal, I'm going to reach it every single time. I really do. Now, you educators out there, okay, this video is for you. This video is for those teachers out there that work in the brick and mortar setting. Don't let online teachers discourage you and you just want to run out the brick and mortar classroom and just jump solely online because everybody else is doing it. When I, when I started doing this, it was unheard of, you know, so it wasn't a bandwagon thing. And quite honestly, it was God sent because I just wanted to stay home with my babies. I do. Not everybody wants to just stay home with their kids. And that doesn't make you any less of a parent at all. My sister is awesome, okay? And she's staying home with her son for his first year. He's nine months and she's dying. She's not a teacher, but she's dying. She can't wait to go back to the working world where she gets to dress up and wear her heels and do her hair up all nice and have people see her all done up nice, not just her husband, but people. <laughs> she, she just loves it, dressing up and buying new clothes and work clothes and meetings and talking to people outside of just baby, you know? And I get that, I get that. That's one thing I would say is like lacking. So I have you guys. I have you guys to talk to. So email me and I appreciate all the love. I've been getting um, gifts. Someone asked me for my um, PayPal information. I'm, I guess I'll just enclose my PayPal, my cash app, all that good stuff. And I appreciate that because it gets, you know, when it's just kids, sometimes it gets a bit lonely. Now you teachers that work in the brick and mortar and you do this online, that was my world in the very beginning in 2017, that was my world. And you guys rock it, okay? Don't let anybody let you feel bad for working in the brick and mortar when you hear girl i don't know how you do it because they don't know how you do it not because you shouldn't do it because they really don't know how you do it okay and um we need you all the teachers can't run out the brick and mortar setting now all of them can't i'm on my way to pick up my kids right now they're not homeschooled i send them to school like, they don't go to a public school. They go to a charter school. But they need a teacher, okay? They need teachers. <laughs> My kids are in middle school. I got one that's in college. She need a teacher. We need teachers now, okay? And then little little bit back here, he's, you, you see him knocked out in his car seat back there. You probably see an ear. He will be four next month. Uh, because of his birthday, he can't start school till next school year. And you better believe I'm sending him to school too. People have asked me, are you going back to the classroom? I honestly don't know. I kind of like my freedom. I like being done at 12.30 p.m. Setting my own schedule. If I don't feel like teaching for the day, I, I just don't. I don't have to scrounge around for a substitute. But I do miss, I miss the standing around the copier <laughs> you know this the memes that everybody you know makes fun of and like oh all teachers can relate to I miss that I miss the you know the team meetings hanging out with the team I miss the the I always called them pep rallies when I was growing up in school we called them pep rallies I don't know what they call them now I keep forgetting like I don't know. They don't call them pep rallies, but you know what I'm talking about. When the whole school body go into the auditorium or the gymnasium and we get to, you know, 
see some awesome dancing and announcements and everybody gets to, ah, I miss that. I miss it. I do miss dressing up and talking to so many parents and friendships and meeting so many kids in person. I, I do miss it, I really do. Am I going back? I don't know. But you teachers, brick and mortar teachers out there, we need you. We need your superpowers, okay? Because you guys are keeping me sane. Because while I'm teaching online and dealing with these, um, these little lovely littles, that I cannot touch and I get 30 minutes to an hour, depending on what platform I'm in, 30 minutes to an hour with them and then I get to shut off the computer. Outside of them, when I'm done with that and I'm, you know, then my own children, I'm ready to send them. Send them. When there are those long breaks, uh, sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, you guys get a break. Then after about the second day, I'm ready to send them back. Send them back to you. So we love you. Don't get discouraged. If this is something that you're looking to do because you want to, not because you feel pressured to do it, everybody else is doing it, but because you actually just want to, or maybe you have the same goals as myself, and you have a little bit at home, and you just, you just really like, you don't like to just let go while they're little. Because I was like, my kids can't go to daycare till they can talk, point, tell me what's going on, and use all the adjectives that they can conjure up, okay? I was like, they're not going into childcare until that can be done. And so the Lord blessed me, because with my younger ones, I was a stay-at-home mom. Then I got my degree, went into teaching, and then I, I thought I was finished with three, then I had number four, and I lost number five. You guys know my story with my baby. I lost number five. But... Uh, yeah, I was like, nope, I'm staying home. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> and then I thought I was going to homeschool. And then the older he got, I said, I'm ready to send him to school. I'm ready. And he's asked, he's asked me, mommy, can I go to school? You sure can. So you awesome brick and mortar teacher, I'm sending my son to you because I need you. I need you in my life so I can do my job most effectively. I need a break from my children, okay? I need them to be educated by someone that don't know that they don't clean their room or that I had to get on them about rolling up the toothpaste or that um, when I went into the kitchen this morning, all the cabinets were open. I need someone to teach them that don't know those things about them. And when they see them, they just see the brilliance in my children. They just see their genius. And uh, my children thrive off of that because they thrive off of the thought that other people think that they are perfect. <laughs> yes, then they come home and I'm telling them to clean your doggone room. I need you. Because not only do you keep me sane, I think you keep them sane. We need you. So teachers, brick and mortar teachers, I love you, okay? I want to honor you on this day and tell you how much you are appreciated, how much I need you, how important and special you are in my life. And no matter how children may grumble about school, they really need a break from their parents too. They need you. They need somebody to teach them unbiased. Unbiasedly, is that a word? Unbiasedly, okay? They need you, I need you, we love you. Keep it, keep it, keep it going. Keep it, keep your superpower. And I will have another video on how to juggle or how I juggled teaching online and teaching in the brick and mortar setting. How did I do that? So that's coming too. <laughs> I'm here. I'm about to get them and put their butt. I got to text them, tell them I'm here, come on out to the car. So until next time, TT. Wait a minute, you want to see him? I feel bad for this little boy out here. <laughs> he got locked out. <laughs> They're all opening the door, calling this kid's name. And then they're running into the door. 
and not letting the kid in. See? Ooh, There's ooh, one. You got it, you got it. <laughs> yeah, he needs to get in. Let him in. Now they're trying to push people out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, that was actually ah, so awesome. All right, the crew's here. You guys ready? Did you have a good day at school? Yep. You have a good day? Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, as always, <laughs> TTFN. <laughs>